when you look at our quarterback situation and say, well, it's a little close to call right there. But uh, I thought both of them responded when they were down. Both of them showed good leadership. Both of them made plays. White was up 17-0. Cousins brings them back. Yeah, they had to make plays, and that's, that wasn't by design. It's just sort, sort of the way the game unfolded. But, you know, they had to make a play at the end of the first half. Cousins had to take them down, and Nichols had to bring them back. And, you know, I don't think you can ask for a more realistic thing in the springtime than what we saw today. I thought, you know, 17-0 in a spring game when, I mean, we don't have our full packages in, I mean, that, that's tough. And I think, you know, it helped him making good decisions, and he had a, an experienced wide receiver crew with Blair White. And, uh, he took advantage of some busts and stuff, so it was good. It was good to see that, and it made me want to go even harder. So <laughs> it was fun competing. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. Most fun I've had since I played Muskegon in my senior year. I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, was, I've seen him in camps and growing up kind of near him, and, I mean, I go over to his side of the his side of the state, really, for, I mean, every summer. I mean, it's just – but I think that just kind of shows you how strong the west side of the state's getting with their football, and I think it's, it, makes it makes me proud to be from that side. And um, I think he's doing a great job, and uh, he's competing every day and pushing me, and I'm pushing him. So this competition's really been going well, I think. Well, I, I think what we need to do throughout their sophomore year is to is allow them opportunities. I do think you need to let people get in a rhythm. And you saw both guys get in a rhythm today because they played the whole game. So that's a positive. But, but they have to um, – they can't just play well, well in one game or, um, you know, they have to have consistency. And that's what we're looking for. And He's such a great player um, that, uh, you know, there's great competition there. It's just going to keep going. Um, and that's on the coaches to figure out. That's not my job. My job is to just come in there every day and, and give my best and work my tail off. And um, that's what I'm going to continue to do. Yeah, when we dialogue together and we, we have conversation, we can talk about, you know, the schools that we played together, you know, schools, the same schools we played, or even if we played each other in, in a different sport, or, um, you know, we have some of the same friends, that mutual friends that we knew, and, uh, you know, we just have a lot in common in that sense that we can talk about, and uh, we're similar people, and, and I think that, um, you know, that's a cool thing, and, and I think it represents West Michigan well, and we're going to continue to try to do that. Uh, you know, it was an emotional day out there, intense, you know, I was bringing a lot of intensity, and um, when you kind of realize at that moment that, you know, the game is over and you lost, you um, just a little devastating. Both guys can create. Both guys run pretty well. You know, we didn't allow them to run past the line of scrimmage today or you would have saw more big plays. We got them knocked on the ground a little bit, which is a positive to me too, without getting them hurt because they need to be able to, to take hits um, and show their toughness and be able to respond. And I think they did that. So pretty good performance by both those guys.